Here is a question for you. How can you estimate the value of 2.99 raised to the fourth power rounded to the nearest tenth place without the use of a calculator? In this video, we're going to talk about how to do that and we're going to confirm our answer with a calculator. Now this involves the use of calculus, but it's not too complicated. You can learn this. The first thing we're going to do is replace 2.99 with a variable. So we're going to choose x. So we have x to the fourth power. And that is going to be our function f of x. Now what we need to do in this problem is we need to write a linear equation that describes the behavior of this function near this value when x is 2.99. So first we're going to pick an integer value that is close to 2.99 and that's going to be 3. In order to write the linear equation that we want, we need three things. We need a point, the xy coordinate of a point, and we need the slope, ideally the slope of the tangent line at the curve near this point. So first, we need to determine what our x value is going to be. It's going to be an integer that is closest to this value. And so the best thing to pick is 3. Now we need to get y and the slope of the tangent line. f of x is equal to y. So y is going to be f of x when x is 3. And so that's going to be 3 to the fourth power. 3 to the fourth power is equivalent to multiplying four threes. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So now we have our y value, which is 81. The next thing we need to do is calculate the slope of the tangent line. And in order to do that, we need to find the first derivative of the function, known as f prime of x. The derivative of a variable raised to a constant, the derivative of x raised to the n power, is going to be n times x raised to the n minus 1. So for example, the derivative of x squared will be 2x to the first power. The derivative of x cubed will be 3x to the second power. The derivative of x to the fourth is 4x to the third power. And the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth power. So this is what we need. That's going to be f prime of x, the derivative of x to the fourth power, which we see here. So now that we have f prime of x, we can calculate the slope of the tangent line. The derivative is a function that will tell us the slope of the tangent line at any x value. Now our x value is 3. So we need to calculate f prime of 3. And that's going to be 4 times 3 to the third power. So this is 4 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. Now, 4 times 20 is 80, 4 times 7 is 28, 80 plus 28 is 108. So that's 4 times 27. So the slope of the tangent line is equal to 108. So now, we have everything that we need to write our linear equation that will approximate the curve f of x equals x to the fourth at x equals 3. And we're going to use the point-slope formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So we have our m value. x1 is 3, y1 is 81. So we're going to have y minus 81 is equal to 108 times x minus 3. Now I'm going to move 81 from the left side to the right side. It's negative on the left side, but it's going to change to a positive value on the right side. So y is equal to 108 times x minus 3 plus 81. So this equation describes the behavior of the curve x to the fourth when x is close to 3. So we could use that equation to estimate the y value when x is 2.99. So let's plug this in. It's going to be 108 times 2.99 minus 3 plus 81. 2.99 minus 3, that's negative 0.01. Now, 
0 0.1 times anything, all you need to do to get the answer is move the decimal two units to the left. So 108 times 0 0.01 is going to be 1.08, but it's going to be negative. So what we have is negative 1.08 plus 81. Let me clear away a few things. So right now this is, I'm going to reverse it, it's 81 minus 1.08. Now let's break down 1.08 into two numbers. That's 1 and 0 0.08. 81 minus 1 is 80. Now 80 minus 0 0.08 what do you think that's going to be? Well, we could break this down into 79 plus 1 because 79 plus 1 is 80 and then minus 0 0.08. So what is 1 minus 0 0.08? Well, what is 100 minus 8? 100 minus 8 is 92. So 1.00 minus 0 0.08 must be 0.92. So we have 79 plus 0.92, which is 79.92. Whoops, not sure how that happened. So we could say that 2.99 raised to the fourth power is, we're going to round this to the nearest tenth. So this is approximately 79. So let's see if our answer is accurate. So we're going to use a calculator to get the exact answer, or close to the exact answer. So 2.99 raised to the fourth power. Here's what I got. It's 79.925388. And my calculator stops there. So 79.9 is very close to this number. I mean, it's the, the rounded value. 79.925 rounds to 79.9. So this method is acceptable. So that's how you can estimate certain numbers like this if they're very close to some integer value. I mean, you could use it for anything, but it's easier if they're close to a number like 3, 4, or 5. It just makes the math easier.